Welcome to the Anxious Morning. Every weekday morning, we'll take a few minutes to go over important lessons that you can use in your anxiety recovery journey. The Anxious Morning brings you support, education, inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment. Read or listen quietly on your own time, free of the endless, noisy scroll of social media. Use the information to help you along the path to recovery from panic disorder, agoraphobia, and other anxiety problems. For more, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. Dr. Claire Weeks, in her lovely, soothing Australian grandmother accent, said, utter, utter acceptance. We hear the words accept and acceptance every day in our community. The idea that we accept our anxiety rather than fighting it or trying to banish it is central in recovery. Do you remember the first time someone told you that you must accept this monster that has been stalking and torturing you? Did you think they were clearly insane to suggest such a thing? Don't worry. Most people have that reaction initially. It's pretty common. What's also pretty common is to see disbelief become enthusiasm as an anxious person learns, absorbs, and begins to realize that the idea of accepting is in fact better than the idea of fighting. As understanding grows, they may take their first steps toward putting acceptance into action. They go toward the things they fear bit by bit, working hard to face the anxiety and move through it. Things begin to change. They get a glimpse of the reality that recovery really is possible using what seemed to be such a crazy idea. At this point, the idea of acceptance may morph from an anxiety recovery strategy into a general life philosophy. This is where things start to get a little fuzzy or even go off the rails a bit. When we find things that work for us, give us hope, and make us feel better, we become enamored with them. We look for ways to use them not just in recovery, but everywhere. The idea of acceptance is woven into many philosophies that are then woven into the underpinnings of cognitive behavioral therapies like CBT, DBT, and ACT, which even has acceptance in its name. But this does not mean that the solution to every problem lies in accepting it and floating through it. When in an abusive relationship where you are being harmed, we do not accept and float through that. When facing real danger in the form of an assault, an attack, or continued harassment, we do not accept and float through that. When confronted with major life events like the loss of a loved one, we do not attempt to accept away the resulting emotions. When we are confronted with health issues that require us to make lifestyle changes or other accommodations for our own well-being, we do not choose to just accept and float instead. Sometimes real action and real change are required, sometimes immediately. And often we are faced with situations that will demand that we feel strong emotions or experience unpleasant and uncomfortable interactions with others. Acceptance is a powerful tool. I do not deny this. But acceptance is not always passive, and acceptance is certainly not a universal strategy for handling all possible situations that life brings our way. Acceptance is a concept that we will return to now and then on the anxious morning. It can be beautifully simple and also staggeringly nuanced and complex. It requires discussion and examination. But for today, just take a few minutes to check your view of acceptance. You may find that you've been making some off-target assumptions about what it is and where it applies on a wide scale. On Monday, we'll talk about labels and how sometimes we cling to them. Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast and you'd like to get a copy of it delivered every morning into your email inbox, including a full text transcription, head on over to theanxiousmorning.email and sign up for the newsletter. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify or someplace where you can leave us a rating or a review, take a moment and rate the podcast and maybe write a small review. It really helps us out. Or just tell a friend about us. Thanks a lot.